Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of the Rise of the Ronin. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to start off with the Beauty of Friendship side quest. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Are you here to see Mr. Sato? I'm afraid tea time will have to come later. My efforts to track the Sekihotai's movement have led me straight here. They've broken into the manor in retaliation for our actions. Mr. Sato appears to have anticipated this and has prepared himself for the siege. I must rescue him before it is too late. Will you help me? Let's get in there. Thanks. Okay, but it would be reckless to try to enter through the front gate. The place is crawling with enemies. However, I believe there to be a secret entrance in the back. We'd best sneak in that way. You got them. Where did you come from? I didn't even notice that guy. Taking them so long inside. Open up already. <sighs> What's the point of getting over here? Not worried about getting formidable foes or anything. Could there be a hidden passage? Another dead end. Damn this house. I say I'm not worried about formidable foes, and then what am I doing? Fighting a formidable foe. Reckless there. Okay, so I need to be careful for their traps, I suppose. So crouch underneath it. Cool, cool. You got them. The 
question is uh yeah careful ouch i just got messed up <laughs> really bad need to be better at jumping over those I am just being super careless right now. Have we already been over here? We have. Okay. So we need to go back around. I am not doing very well with navigating these traps, though. Oh, drop a rope. Little shortcut. Don't know why we would need a shortcut, but there's one there. Oh, please. Still managed to get messed up. Oh, good God. least our companions do not set off the traps. That is a very good thing. Oop. You don't see me, bud. Excellent. Yes, it was excellent. You know what? Let's do this. Get ready. Uh, I hate when I'm literally locked into a wall. Camera's trying to kill me now. Good job, lady. Oh, I could have come up here and got these guys. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. We took care of it regardless. Mm, I'm not even going to mess with that. Where the hell are we going? Oh, I see now. Huh? I'm glad you're here. 
But did you have to bring the enemy with you? Found you, Sato! You'll pay for better Aegis! I prefer to think of it as realizing what's important. What luck that I can avenge my brother too. Come, I'll kill you both! My brother was meant to lead Japan to a better future! I have retreated. Thanks to you, of course. As you can imagine, this is not what I had in mind when I invited you over earlier. Those assassins appear to be acting on the Demon Claw Samurai's orders. It seems my betrayal has been quite the bitter pill to swallow. Even so, my resolve remains firm. No matter how many times they strike at me, I refuse to give in. Although the cruelty of that villain is not to be underestimated. I have a score to settle with my blade twin. I see. So you still consider that villain to be your blade twin? And perhaps you are fated to face each other. As for myself, I have no intention of giving up. I must continue to pour everything into preventing further violence. As an interpreter, I have many contacts, you see. And though I cannot fight like you, I am confident that I will have a role to play. So, let us work together to protect Edo. Nay, all of Japan. I must say, you two have become very friendly while I've been away dealing with the remnants of the Kurosu. Yes, you could say that. Well, since we're all here, anyone up for tea time? Awesome possum. Ooh, we got another foreign book. Let's see, I forget, over here, this is where it's at. Pretty sure I have all of the upgrades for like my technology tree and all of that. But we'll check just in case. Ah, I was one. I'm glad to see you. Really? Oh. It looks like you have quite the collection. Good work. Yeah, I have every single upgrade. I have a hunch you will be back again. Am I right? Probably. I probably will be back. Okay, let's go over here. We'll do this bond 
mission. And then before the dawn, hopefully we'll be able to start right after doing this bond mission. Ah, it's you. We have some pressing matters to discuss. Leave us for now. One moment, Lord Katamori. I believe I found the perfect blade for this mission. I'd like to take them with me, if I may. Hmm. You may be right. Very well. I'll leave the matter in your hands. Rumor has it Kondo's head is to be displayed at the Sanjo Gawara execution grounds in Kyoto. If that be true, it could serve as the spark which sets the Shinzangumi to revolt. It would make a mockery of Kondo's dying wish. Is Kondo really dead? That remains unclear. Though from what Hijikata has told us, we're not holding out much hope. What do you mean about this Shinsengumi revolt. If the Shinsengumi is to suffer the indignity of having Kondo's head displayed, they will surely seek revenge by starting a fight with the Satsuma Choshu army. After that, a battle for Edo will be inevitable, and Katsu's efforts will have been for naught. So what was Kondo's dying wish? He told us that should he be killed, he did not want his head to be displayed in public. Only Lord Katamori and I know. Were Hijikata to get wind of this, I believe he would not be able to contain his rage. I want you to go to Kyoto with Saito and ascertain the truth of this rumor. Understood. Good. I'm counting on you. Now head out. We strike at the first chance. You're finished! <laughs> So they knew. Just like <coughs> Abura no Koji. Come, let's take care of them. Damn, that was a badass move. Right. Let's examine the bucket. Empty. It's only bait. Just the two of you? And there I was hoping I could kill you all. Sorry to disappoint, but we're more than enough for the likes of you. Damn, this dude is a badass. His moves look really freaking cool. Always too late to counter that. Execution grounds where you can stay with Kondo. You're a stubborn one. 
Forgive me. That's the... Yabi. It seems Kondo's head may be at the execution grounds. Let's go. Right. Kondo's head must be here somewhere. There's no reason for Kawakami to lie about it. Kondo, I've come for you. There was one other thing I promised, Kondo. And that was to get rid of anyone who knew about this severed head. Do not think ill of me. I have nothing against you, but you must die here. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Damn. I promise, Kondo. Don't think it of me. Kondo's head must be here somewhere. There's no reason for Kawakami to lie about it. Kondo. There was one I do not... Prepare yourself. Damn, this dude is pretty tough. I knew you wouldn't make this easy. Oh my god! Not careful, I'm gonna die. Why are you so intent on protecting Kondo's honor? You see, I, who was once so ruthless, used to strive only to hone my skills as a swordsman. To what end? I knew not. But Kondo recruited me as I was, and showed me a path to follow. <gasps> Kondo! Were we not both searching for a meaning behind the sword? I hardly expect you to forgive me for my actions. If you are going to kill me, know that I am fully prepared to receive your blade. Only do not reveal what you saw today. In the next world, I hope that I can apologize to Kondo for breaking my promise. Okay, where to now? Any more side missions as I scroll up this endless list? Nope. So we can go straight to the main mission.
Ah, it's you. Ah, someone's back in Edo, I see. <laughs> Didn't think you'd be likely to come here again. Look, this might seem sudden, but you need to leave Edo. I've got to get every man, woman, and child out of here. Once everyone's gone, we're burning it to the ground. That's the plan, at least. Why are you burning it down? Are you being serious? Unfortunately, we can't protect both the city and its people. And this is our only chance to stop the Alliance from finishing us off for good. Well, I guess if you're willing to go that far, I won't try to... St I won't try to stop you. Good. Because I've made up my mind. Who am I trying to kid? Look, I can't bear the thought of burning down the town where I was born and raised. But I owe it to the troops under my command to take decisive action. I need to ask Tatsugoro for his help, too. But if he heard this talk, I know he'd be furious. At any rate, we have a few days before the Alliance descend on Edo. I have to prepare as best I can. The British have strong ties to the Alliance, so I'll see if they'd be willing to help us broker a peace. I've got to get Sato, the interpreter, on our side. And then, I have to cool down the Shinsengumi. They're gathering in numbers, chomping at the bit to get revenge for Kondo. If I let them take up arms, all Edo will descend into chaos. I've sent Brunei to talk sense into them, but he'll have an uphill battle. Apologies for interrupting, sir. The group calling themselves the Sekihotai have entered Edo Castle. They're headed to the inner chamber. Reports say their target is Princess Atsuko. Who are the Sekihotai? A group of ronin formed by Sozo Sagara, who refused to acknowledge either the shogunate or the new administration. Why would they be after her? Ah, uh, she's a former shogun's wife and a key figure of the Satsuma clan. Uh, I'm not sure what their plan is, but this is bound to rile up her clansmen. Her highness's escort is undermanned and requires assistance. The Shinshogumi may have stalled the Sekio Tai, but it is only a matter of time. Well, if that's the case, let me help. Good. I appreciate it. And what's more, I trust you. Get to Edo Castle as quick as you can and drive off the Sekio Tai. Nakazawa can fill in the details when you arrive. I know you just got back. Sorry you walked right into this. If we survive this, drinks are on me. Oh, and there's something else I want to run by you. Come see me about it later. Maybe... Maybe we should do this first. Hey, I'm sure you know, but... The situation is truly dire. Burning down Edo is nigh unavoidable at this point. By reducing Edo to ash... The Alliance won't be able to achieve anything, and when the time is right, we can force them to negotiate. Do you know of Napoleon, France's invincible general? Well, when faced with a similar situation, even he withdrew his men. The Shogunate still has plenty of capable men. I need to do what I can for them.
Make sure they can afford to keep putting food on the table. I'm going to ask Chief Tatsugoro to start the blaze. I've tried to speak to him about it, but, well, tempers are rising all around. The truth is, I can't bring myself to broach the topic. I've just got too much to do right now. I've got my hands full trying to evacuate everyone. I'd really appreciate if you'd talk Tatsugoro around for me. So you want the firefighters to burn down Edo? Indeed. Who knows fire better than the firefighters? I just need you to convince the chief, please. Fine. I'll give it my best shot. I'll be back soon. Thank you. I'm sorry for asking so much of you all the time. Go to our map, see where we need to go, way over here. Oh, look who it is. There's an ominous gloom hanging over Ito right now. Feels like a hell of a fight's brewing. I tell you one thing, though. On my pride as a firefighter, I refuse to see this town destroyed. So, what is it that you came to see me about? Katsu wants your help with a strategy for the coming war. His lordship wants my help? You're going to have to tell me more. If it's in my power, I'll do what I can. Well, about that. Katsu's plan is to burn down Edo to stop the Satsuma Choshu marching on it. I see. So he wants the firefighters to start the blaze. <sighs> now I've heard everything. And Katsu said that himself, did he? What an absolute joke! What the hell is he thinking? Asking me to set fire to the place where I was born and raised. And you're no better! Didn't you even try to talk him out of it? Don't you care what happens to this place? Calm down. You need to hear the whole story first. I don't want to hear it if you're telling me to set fire to Edo. I think it's high time I knock some sense into you. You've lost your minds. I'm going to beat the living daylights out of you. Again, 
Your beast, you know. Can I fill you in with the West? Oh my goodness, words. Can I fill you in on the rest of the plan now? Apologies. I got too fired up. Go on then. Tell me the rest. Katsu doesn't want to do this any more than you do. But burning Edo down, it's beyond the reckless. I won't be party to such folly. The citizens will be evacuated before anything is set alight. So, it's only the buildings that will go. Hmm. I should have realized Katsu wouldn't execute a plan like this without thinking it through first. I see the Shogunate can no longer afford to worry about their reputation. I suppose I have no choice. If all else fails, and I mean all else, I'll play my part. But you give his lordship a message from me. Tell him it's his job to resolve this without burning Edo down. We're all done for if he's forgotten that. Got it? And one more thing. If this plan gets scrapped, he needs to send me word right away. And not through you. I need to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The man's lost sight of what's really important. Anyways, you give him a good smack for me next time you see him. Hopefully, that'll wake him up. Sorry for making you come here so often. So, how did the chief take the news? Not very well. He says you better figure out a way to do your job without burning Edo down first, but he'll still do it. Come on! If I could manage that, I wouldn't have needed to ask him in the first place. Ah, well, there's no feeling good about this, is there? I've never been cut out for plotting and scheming. It's dawned on me recently how good it was back when my only purpose was wielding my sword. In exerting myself, my mind was clear. How about it, then? Care to go around with me? I want to forget everything for a moment. Try to get back to my old self. It's been a while since I crossed swords in earnest. <gasps> Light them up! I can't see! What's wrong with me? How could I possibly burn Edo down? That's more like Yeah! I just healed, fool! Ugh! Yeah! 
That's more like it! Kill! No! I'm afraid I win this one. It's been a while since I crossed swords in earnest. That's more like... burn Edo down. The higher you rise, the more you lose sight of what's on the ground. I always knew this was more my style. I hate being backed into a corner. The camera just hates me there. Light them up! That may have been a spectacular defeat, but I feel much better. That's blown the doom and gloom right away. But sadly, it hasn't inspired much in the way of bright ideas. I know you'll come up with something, Katsu. No pressure, huh? <laughs> if only you could just finish me off here and now. I can't lose to the Alliance. I can't burn Edo. And I can't let anyone die. How do I do all three? Damn. People expect far too much of me. Okay, so we don't have very long left in the video, so it, let's at least start the main mission. We probably won't finish it, but at least we'll have it started. That way when we come back, we can continue forward through it. Which way are we going? Over here. able to figure out how to get over to where we need to start the main mission that is what are you doing here I'm your knight in shining armor, didn't you hear? <laughs> Sounds about right. I plan on putting you to work then. 
There's a hidden passage close by that leads inside the castle. It'll be quicker to reach the inner chamber that way than storming in from the front. You can still make it if you hurry. Can you head straight to Princess Atsuko's chambers and get her out? Of course I can. Be on your guard. I'm sure our enemies have found the passage by now. Let's get started then. To business then. Oh, traps again. Get ready. <laughs> Where'd that other guy go? I know I've seen him. Nicely done. Okay, that is not the way. So maybe we got to go this way. That's the way. I am not jumping over that. I have really bad luck with traps. I feel like I've been fighting the camera the whole game. Didn't want to fall down. Uh 
other peoples were fighting that one dude. Let's see if they killed him or not. Yeah, I guess so. So we have less than 10 minutes left in the video. We're going to get ready to end this soon. I need to switch over to my rifle. guys are really hard to see. They blend in very well. This is a very easy, formidable foe. Just spam square. See if we can catch up to this guy before he turns around, that is. Excellent. Trying to be as cautious as I can. <sighs> Nicely done. We should probably go over there. anymore yeah that's the way to go so let's over here nicely done <laughs> Oh. <sighs> 
Oh shit. <clears throat> Damn it. <laughs> Completely fucked that one up. Whatever. I don't see any more formidable foes. I think that was it. Uh. Yeah, we already went through here. So I guess we'll just keep moving up. We'll go up to the Veiled Edge banner that we've seen. And then we'll end the video over there. I don't see anything else. Go ahead and light this Veiled Edge banner. And then we're going to go back down here and end the video because it looks like there's enemies over there that will mess us up while we're trying to end the video or whatnot. All right, everybody. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why. Down in the comments below, it only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.